But anyway, guess who ain't gonna do it? This family right here, okay? Jesus Christ! <laughs> to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hello. Do I look like I've been up since 4 a.m.? Because I've been up. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, welcome to another vlog. I think I'm gonna start a vlog right now um, because why not? Um. You're probably wondering why the heck I have this microphone. Um, because I wanted to test it out, and it makes me feel like I'm doing something, so... I'm gonna hold it like everybody else does, and I know it's a pet peeve for some people. Because you're supposed to clip it on you. But like, I don't know, I just feel so cool holding it, so... <laughs> I've also like hit that point of... Delirious? Delirium? Whatever. That's kind of where I'm at right now. So it's about 6.15 p.m. And like I said, it's been an early um, morning. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm tired. Um, Issa started preschool last week, and I thought that meant, like, I was finally going to have, like, free time. Um, but she literally started preschool, and then I got sick. <laughs> We both got sick, me and Hassani Sr., big one. Yeah, we were both sick. So we were home for a week, which was cool. You know, no kids, right? So we slept. Um, you know, yay. But it's like, so what? You had no kids. You were literally dying. <laughs> Just my luck. Um, yeah, so now this week, I was like, okay, we're good. Cause I'm not sick, right? Hassani's back at work. We're good. We're good. Issa wakes up at 4 a.m. And she's like, I gotta go poop. So she came in our room and she's like, I gotta go poop. And I was like, I heard her and I heard her go in the bathroom. So I was like, what if? But then I noticed that all the lights were on in the bathroom and Issa was still in there. So I was like, okay, let me see what's going on. So I go in there and she's like, mom, I'm comfortable. And if you don't know, Issa thinks the word comfortable means sick, means throw up, okay? So she says, Mom, I'm comfortable. I got comfortable. Two piles of puke. I didn't even hear her, like, up chucking, or I would have gotten up, so I don't, I don't know. But yes, two piles of, ugh, okay. Mm -hmm. So then I had to get her in the shower, hose her off. She was upset that I had to hose her off, but, like, girl, I was not giving you a bath that for you. Cool. So then I let her go on the couch in the locked. She wanted to watch Bluey. I said, whatever, I don't care. I put her in there. And then I tried to go back to sleep because I was like, I just need one more hour and I'll be fine. Turns out I needed more than one hour. Okay. Because I couldn't get up. <laughs> and the other kid didn't decide to like tell anyone, like, hey, y'all, you got to take me to school. <laughs> so he was like, um, which is like literally his second time being late, but for the school to email me and tell me that he has excessive tardies, that sent me over the freaking edge. Okay. Anyway, 
So Issa's been throwing up all day. Finally got her calm and she's taking a nap. Should she be napping at 6 p.m.? No. Am I going to allow it? Yes. And now, guess who feels like they're going to throw up? Me. <sighs> Just another week. Just another week. In the Katie Chronicles. <laughs> See, so yeah, I'm sitting here trying to not her up right now, so I figured I would talk to y'all because I was testing this anyway. So I was like, you know what? This is real life. Let's just start another vlog. And now the camera's flashing at me like, girl, shut up because you have no room on your memory card. So, BRB. <laughs> okay, we are back. I had to put all the footage on my computer and then format my memory card so I would have, you know, space to talk to you. Mm hmm because what else should I be doing at like 7 p.m.? Nothing, right? Just talk to you. This is how I decompress. Like, I need this right now. <laughs> anyway, what else is going on in my life? Um, a lot, actually. Um, but let's start with my doodle dogs. So as you know, I have two golden doodles. Was that smart? No. Am I going to live with it? Yes. Um, they are wild animals. They like to play, you know, hopscotch. They like to play wrestling. They just love to be cuckoo. Okay. I have a screened porch in my backyard. Like connect to the house or whatever. Um, you've probably seen it. But if you notice in the last video that you saw when I was making the grill stuff, or like I was getting the grill together, because you should have seen the video by now, because I did edit it. Um, finally, you know, months later. Um, but that's not what we're discussing right now. If you were looking closely in the background, you could see that the screen pieces at the bottom were torn to shreds. Okay? Because Houston, the big one, okay, he has a chewing problem and he likes to chew up everything. He's chewed up the wall in my room, in my workout room. He chewed up the wall. Why? No clue. He just felt like doing it. He chewed up the trim around the door. Again, just felt like doing it. So I say all that to say that he basically annihilated my screen. And I looked it up. And they said that I could just buy all the stuff and I could do it myself. So I tried. It was hot outside. It was like 100 degrees. Terrible time to do that project. But, you know, me, impatient. So, um, anyway, I was getting irritated, okay? So I found someone to do it. And I paid the guy. And he did it for me. Boom. We're good. So then I got all the screens fixed and it was looking normal. And then I went ahead with, you know, adding stuff to my patio and we were getting back to, you know, normal ground. Okay. Tell me why. Not even a month, maybe two months of having everything fixed. Husty decides that he doesn't like that. And so he busted through the door. So now my door is ripped to shreds. <laughs> oh my god, I love that for me, right? So I'm dealing with that. Um, we got a quote to like change all of the screens to glass. Because, you know, we're just kind of over it. Right? We're just kind of over it. I hear a child, but I don't know which child it is. And where are you playing this game? No. Isn't your sister in there? No. We do not go in there. If you want to do something, do it in your room. Anyway. So. Um. Yes, so we got a quote to change all of the screen stuff to glass because, or like some type of three season room. I don't even know what that is. Okay, I don't even know what that is. 
because to me that should be fine because North Carolina literally like it's like three seasons to begin with maybe two so like what are you selling me I don't know but anyway um we got a quote for that and I would like to say that my patio is not big oh well it's big I'm not gonna say it's not big but like I feel like it's normal I don't know long story long um they want 16 grand now if you didn't know already, I'm not going to give them 16 grand. Okay. No one in this house is going to give them 16 grand because that's cuckoo. Cuckoo. To do literally two sides because the other three sides are already closed in because they're attached to the house. So what are we doing with the 16 grand? But anyway, guess who ain't going to do it? This family right here. Okay. So I've been looking around for some alternatives because literally all I wanted to do is create something that the dogs cannot kill that's it like i don't care if it's glass i don't care if it's plastic i don't care if it's plexiglass at this point like i just need something that's not the mesh okay that's all like that's all i need no mesh nothing that he could chew up okay that's where i'm at so i've been looking and this one company said they could build me like they could cut me some plexiglass to size and um I started like getting prices for it, but then it told me that it stops at 48 inches. Like that's the longest or the widest that they'll do. And I need panels that are like 86 inches, you know? And then if I figured out a way to like do the seam down the middle, then, you know, I'd be fine. But if it's not going to look OEM, then I don't like it. Okay. Not at this house. <laughs> <laughs> old house sure this house no so um i looked at another company and they make these little roll-up things and so i got a quote for that and it was about 2200 now that is a substantial difference granted it's not glass but again don't care i'm literally just trying to make something that the dogs cannot chew through or like tear up Okay, that's it. That's all. That's all we're trying to do. So, 2200 bucks? Cool. 16 grand? No. Cancel. Don't ever contact me again. That's where I'm at with that. So, dealing with that. <laughs> Love that for me. Mm, what else? The elephant in the room, right? So, a couple months ago, I was at Lowe's because I was looking for stuff to put at the bottom of my patio so the dogs wouldn't claw it, you know? And I had literally just gotten back in the car because it was blazing hot outside. Because remember, I said it was like 100 degrees, okay? Yeah. Um. Anyway, I had just got back into the car and I was trying to get the air conditioner to work because one thing about BMWs, um, the air vents are like tiny. And I feel like not enough air comes out and they really need to fix that going forward. But anyway, long story mid, um, some dingleberry in a 1993 Suburban decided that he didn't want to look out of his mirrors or anything or use any type of common sense. And he backed into me. And because of that, I got a new car. Now, I would like to also say that I had to think really hard about this and I actually don't like car shopping. Now, do I like keeping cars? Not really, kind of, but not really. Um, but do I like shopping for them either? No. So, looked at many places, talked to many people, and thought about getting another BMW. But then I realized that's a dumb idea, okay? I actually should have never got Mickey, but anyway, whatever. Um, I got a Honda. Mm hmm I got a Honda Pilot at that. You thought I got a CRV? You crazy? Uh-uh. I got a Pilot. Elite, okay? Like, talk to me nice. <laughs> Put some respect on my name because your girl's in a Honda Pilot Elite. 2025 please don't talk to me <laughs> you can't touch me <laughs> wait do i have a 20 
Like, I'm saying all this stuff. Like, wait, do I really have a 25? Hold on. Dang, my phone died. I was going to check my app. But I'm pretty sure it's a 25. Because, like, it literally rolled off the lot. And, like, or, like, rolled off the truck and into my driveway. But anyway. Um. That's what I got. And it did spark some little questionnaires from people. <laughs> Why would you get a Honda? Um, uh, because I can. <laughs> yeah. Because I can. Literally. That's why. Because I didn't like anything else. And because anything that I wanted either wasn't there. <clears throat> I'm talking to you, BMW X7. Which I've already discussed my feelings on the X7. I still do not think it's attractive in the front. Like, it is still giving hamster. But, like... I was already in the BMW ecosystem. I was I was fiending, okay? Um, but then I came to my senses and I was like, don't do it, girl. It's not do it. It's not it's not do it. It's not worth it, is what I was trying to say. Um, I looked at a Wagoneer and a Grand Wagoneer. <laughs> not for me. Um, maybe in another life. But this life, no. Um it doesn't make any sense to get a Tahoe Yukon or Escalade because they're about to be refreshed. So you think I'm going to drive around something old? Yeah. Um, so those are, those were out, right? And I looked at a Navigator, a Stankin' Lankin', mm -hmm. and I really liked it. It was really nice. It was a black label. They come to your house. They do your service. Like, they pick the car up for service. They leave you a loner. Like, very posh. Very luxe. Okay. Um, But then the salesperson, she's like, well, they're about to refresh them to add the new screen. Like, that's in the Nautilus. Now, girl, have you done any sales training? Because why would you tell me that? <laughs> Decline. Walked away. <laughs> you thought I was going to get this little toaster camera? toaster backup camera <laughs> no so yeah i left the lot and i did not go back <laughs> um what else did i look at i thought about an atlas um let's see palisades were out i mean i thought about it but like meh and the telly rides are like a bomb so no uh what else i thought about a traverse the new one but again couldn't find what i wanted when i needed it so the Honda Pilot just kind of appeared at the right time. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. So that's what I've driven now. And I really like it. I'm actually a little shocked at how much I like it. Will I cry when it's time to let it go? Find out next year on the Katie Chronicles. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um, but I plan on making like a whole video about the Honda Pilot and like, how I came to this decision and all that good stuff. I feel like it'd be good for the moms who are in something like a BMW X5 or a Mercedes or whatever, like the Lux lifestyle, but are kind of wanting some room. And if I made the transition, so can you, but I'm getting some modifications done. So we're waiting until those are done. And then I will show you guys the new whip. Um, but anyway, now my battery's about to die. So I think this segment of the vlog, should we like call these something? I don't know. I know people are like coming up with cool names and stuff now, but like I don't have one yet. So when we get there, we will. But the camera is dying, y'all. It's dying. So the segment is over. Um, Hopefully next time you see me, <laughs> I don't look like this. But if I do, don't judge me. Judge yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I still feel like I'm gonna throw up, so bye. Hi. So remember how I literally was just talking about how, you know, having two doodle dogs that are around the same age, but not from the same litter is very ghetto, right? Like, we just talked about this. Y'all, sent the dogs outside this morning. They were in their normal color, normal level of fluff. Everything was fine, everything was Gucci. Okay, bring the dogs in the house. Why are they black? And why do they look like scarecrows? And why do they look like little ferrets? I don't understand. So, I same day ordered 
a freaking doggy hair dryer because that's like the last thing that I was really missing for my little impromptu setup that I made. Like, I'm gonna show y'all the setup, don't laugh. I did what I could do without spending a lot of money on a dog washing station. Um, because when I had already like moved into the house, I already knew that downstairs was gonna be for the dog, that it was gonna be the dog bathroom. But at that time, I only had one dog in my brain. I didn't have two. I did not have two doodles in my brain at that time. So that whole bathroom is literally just for like people who come over and they're downstairs and they go pee pee and poop poop. But it's really the dog's bathroom. Like all their stuff is in there. And I was using the Dysons for them. I tried the air wrap Dyson and the normal Dyson. It still takes too long to dry them. So I splurged and I got a doggy blow dryer this morning and it's here so we're gonna wash the dogs yeah that's all i can say that's all i can say but i just remember that i have a 360 camera so and i haven't really used it so we're gonna try to use it today while we're washing the pups because i want them to get my a74 wet okay you gonna see them at the aspca okay so well, first, let me show you what I'm working with in terms of, you know, pup washing, okay? Because it's very, it's very girl, but this is very DIY, okay? Extremely DIY. So, oh, I have this stupid cage here because of Dallas. So, <clears throat> this is a bathroom. Okay, it doesn't have a tub. And see, that's an issue, right? Because I need a tub for the dogs. But also, if it did have a tub... Who was gonna keep bending down to watch them? Not me. My back is already hurting thinking about it. I had two kids. I had two spinals. Uh-uh. So, I got this container from Target and I drilled some holes in there. I don't know if you can see. And then this little table thing is from Amazon. I originally got it for the beach because I put the little grill thing on there, but ain't at the beach and grilling is here um is this safe maybe maybe not we gonna make it work and then i changed the shower head to like a detachable thingy so you can like hose the dogs off so first let me make sure this blow dryer is going to do what it needs to do and then at that time i'm also going to go home girl I, maybe i am country i don't know I'm going to make sure that the 360 thing is charged, which it should be because I literally haven't used it ever. I only use it one time because I don't really know what I'm doing with it. And then, um, yeah, so, oh my God. Okay, so this is the shampoo that I use for them. It's an all-in-one because I'm not doing multiple rounds. I'm just, I know that's very undoodle mom of me, but whatever. I also have, um, a leave-in conditioner that I do. <coughs> Bless you. And then I have all of their brushes and combs. I haven't used this one yet. I think the Jesus. But I got like brushes in here. I have a dematter. So I had a shampoo brush. Where my shampoo brush? I don't know. Hmm. Whatever. We're just gonna go with it because I'm really not, not in the mood. So, here we go. Come on, big boy. Oh my god. Jesus, what? 
almost made a hole. One doodle down, barely. On to go. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put her in first. You are gray. Stop it! <laughs> 